All right, this is my favorite heckler story of all time. And I'm not going to lie, it, it's a little long, not too long, but uh, the punch comes at the end. So you got to stick with me the whole way. This is right about when I started doing comedy. Now, a little exposition. On a standard comedy show, there are three slots. The host slot, the middle comedian, and the headliner. And when you are just beginning, you do everything you can to get that host slot. Well, a guy named Mike Marvell, good friend of mine, still friends to this day, started one week after I did. I was on stage at an open microphone. After I was done, he came up to me and asked, how do you get started? I said, I don't know. That was my first time. We've been friends ever since. So he got his first hosting gig at a club in Appleton, Wisconsin. Back then, this club had shows Wednesday through Saturday. And he was a family guy, had a wife and kids and a day job, so he was going to drive up and back Wednesday night and Thursday night and then sleep in the comedy condo Friday, Saturday. He asked me if I would like to travel with him on Wednesday or Thursday. I said absolutely because, as chance would have it, I was hosting there the very next week. I wanted to go up and meet the owners and look at the club and, you know, maybe get some of my nerves taken care of. Like, oh, I'm a little nervous. Let's go look at the place, see what it's like. So I go up with Mike on Wednesday night for that first show just to watch and become acclimated to the room. Mike doesn't have a great set, but it's not his fault. A woman started heckling him the instant he hit the stage. Couldn't tell you anything she said, but she just shouted him down. And then she shouted at the feature and the headliner, and after the show, this is where it gets important, I'm hanging out going, wow, that was awful. This gorgeous, beautiful, hurts your penis to look at her woman walks up to my friend Mike. He's standing next to me. We're chatting. That didn't go well. Yeah, that sucked. She walks up to him and starts poking him in the chest saying, I was funnier than you. You couldn't handle me. I made the whole show. The beautiful woman was the heckler. I took note of this. I said, wow, I don't want that to happen to me. If someone heckles me, I need to have a fast comeback. Well, Mike and I drive home and week goes by. Now it's my turn to host. It is a week later and I have to host. I'm going up and I'm staying there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's Wednesday. I'm the host now. And of all things, I see the beautiful woman from the week before. You would not forget this woman. She is drop dead, fall down gorgeous. And she walks through the door and I just have two thoughts. One, who goes to see comedy two weeks in a row? Usually you go to a comedy club once a year, maybe twice a year, but there she is. And two, oh shit, what am I going to do if she heckles me? I saw the way she tanked the last show and embarrassed Mike. I don't want that to happen to me. Out of nowhere, I had a brilliant idea and the lights go down and I go up on stage. I welcome the audience. Hey, thanks for coming out. Tip your server. Try the veal. I tell a joke and she shouted something at me. Don't remember what it was, but I had my comeback chambered and ready. And I pulled the trigger and said to her, why don't you shut up? Aren't you happy to be getting a show out of the evening? Don't they usually just rent you and take you back to the hotel? I sat back and waited for the applause and the glory. Yes, praise me. And the audience was dead silent. They hated me. They didn't know about the week prior when she shouted through the entire show. All they saw was her say one thing and I just knocked her down. You have to win an audience over before slamming someone or the person has to be a no nuisance before you really hit them. I went too hard, too fast. I had a horrible set. The audience never came around on me and I left the stage with a tail between my legs. I couldn't go home though because I was the host. So I had to stick around and then go up after the feature. Hey, one more time for so-and-so and then bring up the headliner. And then I had to say, good night, everybody. Thanks for coming at the end of the show. So I had to keep going back up in front of the audience more and more embarrassed because I knew they hated me. After the show, I say goodnight to everybody and they start heading for the exit. I can't get through them, so I sort of try and hide in a corner so I can't be seen. And there's the beautiful woman off to the side of me. I, I just want to crawl into a hole and die. I don't want her to see me, but she's talking to a friend. And I could not make this up if I tried. She says to her friend, this has been the worst night of my life. 
First, the comic makes fun of my job, and then I discover that the cop that put me in jail for it is sitting two tables away. I just want to go home and get drunk. Let's get out of here. I called her a prostitute, and she was actively a prostitute. What are the chances of that? Again, I could not make this story up. It is too irrational and unbelievable to be something conjured by the imagination. I don't think I will ever have a heckler story like that again.